A very good morning to all. So today we'll be continuing with the chapter multiplication. Hope you all are thorough with the tables that we learned in our previous classes. So let's move on to today's class. So today we'll be learning about the multiplication facts. So here you can see a hat and in each hat you can see one rabbit. So let's count the hats here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here you can see six hats and in each hat. So here look at the first hat you can see one rabbit. Similarly there is one rabbit in each hat. So how can we write here in the repeated addition form it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So here you can see the number 1 is repeating 6 times. So 6 times 1. We can write it in the multiplication form as 6 into 1 is equal to 6. So here we can say that if a number is multiplied by 1 or 1 is multiplied by any number, the product is the number itself. So if 1 is multiplied by any number or if any number is multiplied by 1, we get the answer that number itself. So this is a multiplication fact. Here we can see 6 into 1. So here you can see the number 6 is multiplied with 1. So what is the answer? We get the number itself that is 6. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. 7 into 1 is equal to 7. 10 into 1 is equal to 10 and similarly 100 into 1 we can say the answer is 100. Now in this picture you can see some baskets and these baskets are empty. So we can say there is nothing. So here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 baskets but these baskets are empty. So we can say that here 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So here the number 0 repeats 6 times and you can say that 6 into 0. So nothing is there in these baskets. So what will be the answer? That is 0 itself. So 6 into 0 is equal to 0. So we can say that if a number is multiplied by 0 or 0 is multiplied by any number, the product is 0. So we can say that 6 into 0 is equal to 0, 2 into 0 is equal to 0, 7 into 0 is 0, 10 into 0 is 0 and 25 into 0 is equal to 0. Here you can see first 2 into 3. So we have learned the table of 2, 2 3s are 6. Now look at the second row, here you can see 3 into 2. So we know that 2 3s are 6 and 3 2s are is also 6. So even if the order of the multiplicand and multiplier is changed, the answer we get will remain the same. So 2 3s are 6 and 3 2s are 6. So we can say that 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Here it is 5 into 2. And here in the second row you can see it is 2 into 5. So the order of the multiplicand and the multiplier is changed. So how much is 5 into 2? So we have learned 5 2s are 10. And what about 2 into 5? 2 5s are 10. So here we can say that 2 into 5 is equal to 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So here we have 2 into 8. So we know that 2 8s are 16 and 8 2s are 16. And what about 3 into 9? 3 9s are 27 and 9 3s are also 27. So we can say that 3 into 9 is equal to 9 into 3 is equal to 27. Next we have 4 into 6. 4 into 6 is equal to 6 into 4 is equal to 24. Next in your text page number 58 we have some problems to do so let's check that. Here find the product and fill in the blanks to decode the secret message. 
So first we have to find out the answer for these problems and below these problems you have to find out a secret message. So first let's find out the answers for these problems. The first one you have 1 into 4. So 1 4s are when a number is multiplied by 1 we get the number itself. So how much is 1 into 4? 1 into 4 is equal to 4. So you can write 4. Next we have 2 into 1 so 2 1s are 2. Let's check the next one. It is 1 into 5 and 1 5s are 5. Similarly, you can complete the rest of the problems and then you need to find out the secret message. So here you can see the numbers are given and below that we have to write the letters. For finding out these letters, you need to find out the answer for all these problems. And below each problem, you can see a letter is given. So here, First, you can see the number 0 and below the 0, you can see the letter O given. Next, the number 1 and below the number 1, you can see the letter B given. Third, you have the number 4, we have to write the letter. So here, 1 into 4, we already got 4. Now check which letter is given here, the letter E is given. So here, under this 4, we have to write the letter E. So again you can see here the number 4 repeating and you can write the letter E below that. So let's write E here. Again here in the second portion you can see the number 4 and again you can write E here. Similarly you can find out the secret message here. After that speak 5 lines on the importance of the secret message decoded above in your life. So first solve the problems, then solve the secret message and you need to speak five lines on the importance of this secret message in your life. So now let's learn the word problems. So here we have a question. Let's read the question. Rohan has seven bowls containing five candies each. How many candies does Rohan have in all? So now when you get a word problem, you have to read the question and understand what you have to do. So in this question, we can see that Rohan is having seven bowls and in each bowl there are five candies. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out how many candies does Rohan have in all. So for word problems, we have to write steps. So for writing the steps, you can look at the question and write the steps. So now we can write the steps as number of bowls is equal to 7. So Rohan is having 7 bowls. So we can write number of bowls is equal to 7. Number of candies in each bowl is equal to 5. So we have to find out the total number of candies. To find out the total number of candies, we have to multiply the number of bowls into number of candies in each bowl. So it is 7 into 5. So 7 into 5, we have learned the table of 7. So how much is 7 into 5? That is 7 5s are 35. So we can write here the answer 7 into 5 is equal to 35. So what is the answer? The total number of candies is equal to 35. Let's check the next question, the word problem. In your text, practice coach, page number 59, the first question. Let's check the question first. If there are five baskets containing four oranges each, how many oranges are there in all? So what is the question? If there are five baskets, so there are five baskets and if there are four oranges in each basket, we have to find out how many oranges are there in all. So how can we write the steps here? We can write number of baskets is equal to 5. Number of oranges in each basket is equal to 4. Now we have to find out the total number of oranges. So it is 5 into 4. So 5 fours are 20. So you can write the answer here, 5 fours are 20. 
So you get the answer 20. So the total number of oranges is equal to 20. Moving on to the next question. There are seven grapes in a bunch. If Annie has five such bunches, how many grapes does she have in all? So what is the question? There are seven grapes in a bunch. So in one bunch, there are seven grapes. And if Annie has five such bunches, how many grapes does she have in all? So in one bunch, there are seven grapes and Annie has five such bunches. So we have to find out the total number of grapes Annie is having. So we can write the steps as number of grapes in a bunch is equal to seven. The next step, number of bunches Annie has is equal to five. And the total number of grapes is equal to seven into five. So how much is seven into five? Seven fives are 35. So we can write the answer 35. So the total number of grapes is equal to 35. Similarly, you have three more questions. You can do it as homework. Let's check the questions. The third question, a rose has 10 petals. How many petals would be there in nine such roses? So what is the question? One rose, that is a rose has 10 petals. So one rose is having 10 petals. We have to find out how many petals would be there in nine such roses. So if there are nine roses, the total number of petals we have to find out. So understand the question and write the steps. Next question, a music system has three speakers. How many speakers are there in all if there are seven such music systems? So what is the question? A music system has three speakers. So in one music system, it is having three speakers. We have to find out how many speakers will be there if there are seven such music systems. So understand the question and write the steps. Moving on to the next question. There are four penguins in a group. If there are nine such groups, how many penguins are there in all? So there are four penguins in a group. And if there are nine such groups, how many penguins are there in all? We need to find out the total number of penguins. So you can do these three questions as homework. Next, we have a question. A group of five friends decided to plant saplings on the World Environment Day. If each of them planted three saplings, how many saplings did they plant in all? So what is the question? A group of five friends decided to plant saplings on the World Environment Day. So you people know that the World Environment Day is on June 5th. So here a group of five friends decided to plant saplings and each one started to plant three saplings each. So how many saplings did they plant in all? So this is the question you need to find out. And again, you have one more question here. Write one advantage of planting trees. We already have learned the uses of plants. So what is the advantage of planting trees? Plants gives a shade. In the same way, plants provide shelter to many animals and also it provides us food. So there are many advantages of plants. So you can write any one advantage of planting trees. So with this, we finish today's class. Hope you understood the multiplication facts and the word problems. We'll be meeting in the next class. Thank you.